Hello guys, this is Joe, technical engineer from Wacom. In order to ensure your programming is fast, clear, and easy to modify, today I will introduce three different programming ways to help you program read more easily. The first is to use STL instruction for programming. It is uh, this is very uh, very easy to understand and. I believe many users should have used it. The control is divided into multi uh, process uh, state and the state uh, transition um, is carried out in order to the condition. And the control process uh, is uh, gradually uh, completely. Now I will show you this program. Now we enter the uh, first step, so we can control the M1 to turn the Y1 on. But we can control the M0 to turn the Y0 on. And after 5, sec uh, five seconds, we will enter the uh, second step. And now we can control it. M1. It's easy. Uh, however, uh, when using this instruction, we should pay attention to the problem and uh, press instructions are not sent in as STL step instruction. Due to the spectral scan mode of Wacom PLC, and the solution is to put the uh, position uh, instruction outside the STL instructions. Okay. And the second way is to use the LD instruction. Uh, when uh, when it judge that the value of the um, D ten is one, is one. Uh, we enter the first step, and then wait a five second. Um, D ten is set to two, and then you can enter the second step. Nah. And the, uh, the third way is to use the uh, DECO instruction. The value of the D1 will be decoded uh, to the tag address, target address, and address. From, uh, uh, in this program, uh, the address starts from the M15. For example, when D1 is 1, and then uh, the one will be uh, decoded to the uh, target address, and then M51 will be uh, will be owned. Okay, let me show you this problem. Now the M51 the on and then we move the 2 to the D1 and the M52 will on. And now we can try it again. We turn on the M1 and M51 will on. And after 5 seconds, we move the K2 to the D1. And the uh, value will be uh, decoded, and the M52 will own. Okay, 
Blaze are ro- okay. Those are the three simplest programming homework of the PLC. Thank you for your watching.